Hey there, Eli coming at you today with another episode of What is a Coral? I know it's been a long time since we've uh, pumped one of these out, so I figured it was just fitting to do so today. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite genuses of coral being Tubipora which is also known as the pipe organ corals. These are a true soft coral that resemble very closely, say, clove polyps, green star polyps, or some of these other polyps in their outward appearance, but they are very unique in the fact that they put down a hard skeleton. So these are true soft corals. Their polyps are each arranged in segments of eight, but they do make skeletons that are actually primarily composed of calcium carbonate, as you would see with most of your hard corals and this just makes them a very unique addition to your aquarium. Their skeletons are also quite pretty and under the white lights you'll usually see hints of red or hints of purple because there are certain pigments that are laid down by this coral as it builds its skeleton, which just makes it a very unique appearance in the aquarium. For a long while, these skeletons were actually harvested from the wild and uh, the corals were just dried out of them just for their aesthetic appearance because people thought they were just a unique texture to add just as a trinket on the shelves. So uh, fortunately, you don't really see this as much anymore, but they do still make a very beautiful skeleton underneath them, just as the polyps add a really cool sight to your aquarium. Pipe organ corals don't tend to be very difficult. Most people have a very easy time growing them. They like a moderate amount of flow and a moderate amount of light. As long as the polyps are kind of swaying in the motion, you can assume that it's getting a decent amount of flow, but too much flow can cause them to retract into these skeletons. In my experience, mine really like to be fed as well, something like Coral Max or um, just some of the cloudiness that's left behind after throwing salt water at frozen food. Uh, they tend to eat that very well and it seems to grow a lot more quickly when it's getting a decent amount of flow and a decent amount of food, but these should grow very well in a variety of conditions. As for the aquaculture of this coral, most of the ones that you see available are aquacultured, but they are not always the easiest to frag because of these skeletons beneath them. It's a very brittle coral. Uh, these skeletons are very easy to crush accidentally, so you have to be careful to cut very straight down these skeletons to get entire intact tubes because the polyps can retract very deep into the tubes that they build. So generally they have an interesting appearance at first because they, they have very long tubes underneath them, um, but they should fill out uh, into more of a, a round shape as they grow. Just to wrap it up, Tubipora is a wonderful genus of soft corals to add to your aquarium, a very unique coral. Uh, being a soft coral that actually produces a skeleton and a very easy coral uh, that adds some cool texture, adds some cool color, and some difference to your aquarium. As always, check us out at osachoice.com for all of your aquarium keeping needs. Let us know if you have any requests for future videos, and thank you for watching.